that morning, running a couple minutes behind and came outside, put the dog in the car, put the diaper bag in the car, and put my keys in the ignition. Ran back inside to grab her and my other daughter and came back out, my car was gone. That was it. <laughs> I freaked out, I ran up and down the alley. I thought like I was being punked. <laughs> I was just stupid. <laughs> People want to know what a puffer is. Classic example, see the exhaust coming from the rear of this vehicle? Nobody's in the vehicle. This meets the definition of a puffer. Car's running, where's the driver? Nowhere around. We need this to stop. Within not even 30 minutes, I was receiving another phone call from a different county saying they had found my car wrecked already. It was a woman. She hit another car and completely totaled it. She wasn't caught. She fled the scene. The airbags deployed. The whole front end is completely destroyed. I get to look at it every day as a reminder. <laughs> so you ask yourself, how long will this take for somebody to steal my car? I'm just running inside to get my purse. I just started my car. It takes seconds. This is a quick crime of opportunity. For somebody to get a free car to do whatever they're doing with it. And usually their intentions aren't good. This has been the hardest time ever because not only am I fighting with my insurance on this and still having to pay on a car that I can't drive. It's like my whole life has been flipped upside down. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not worth the aftermath. I know everyone runs late and just does stuff not thinking about it or what the consequences could be, but this has definitely been a learning experience that I'll never forget.